Cool. Well, thanks again for, for doing this. Um, tell us a bit about the DC Anime Club and what you do here. Hey, uh, my name is Terrence. I'm actually the webmaster for DC Anime Club. I've been in the job for about five, wow, no, I lost count, at least seven <laughs> years. Because uh, I was actually just a visitor about seven or eight years ago, and they said they needed a webmaster to help um, keep their website up to date, uh, help them with the logistics of doing some of the technical stuff online. And I volunteered. I've been doing it ever since. Cool. What's involved in updating the website? Uh, definitely, I, every week, pretty much, I get announcements from the VP and the president to say, add this, remove this. And um, I do that usually in a few minutes sometimes. <laughs> but some days, you know, you'll spend, you know, about an hour doing major updates because there are a lot of things that have to be done. And, of course, uh, some issues that might involve, say, I guess mainly anything involving not anything involving say working with new web browsers, working with cell phones, stuff that's not just on desktop. Because yeah. the website is set up so that anyone using any device can use it with a minimum fuss. No long scripts, <laughs> no crashes, nothing fancy. We want to make sure that anyone can get on, get off, find what they need quickly, and be able to find us on a regular basis. And of course, be able to get to our meetings without having to search on Google or on Facebook for a long period of time. Makes sense, makes sense. Do you know kind of um, where folks generally tend to hit the site the most? Like, you know, is it events, is it direction, stuff like that? Uh, see, yeah, it's been a while since I've done the, uh, since I've done the reviews on that. <laughs> because the website is simply set up to have all the information in a, in a, few, uh, in a few pages. Gotcha. So if they're hitting us, it's usually through a Google search, mm -hmm. and they go directly to the page. Gotcha. And we're still number one on Google, so if someone yeah. can't find us, that's my job to make sure they can. Yeah, gotcha. What got you into anime? Wow, actually I've been an animation fan since birth practically. Mm. Uh, we come from a family that was a huge into like everything from Disney to Ralph Bakshi stuff back nice. in the 80s. I watched yeah. Wizards when I was five. Wow. Uh, oh, so that, that's, that's how old yeah. school I am. <laughs> and of course, and I've been an animation fan just in general. And then right around the mid-1990s, I started getting into Japanese animation because back then there were Usenet discussion groups about animation. Oh, yeah. And actually, that's actually what got me on the internet. Yeah. It was the, I was the opportunity to talk about animation. And there were some animation fans who were saying, oh, you've got to watch this Japanese <laughs> stuff. Because, you know, you're a teenager. You watch this. This is the early 90s. Mm, what's, yeah. it, what's, on, what's anime on back then? Mm -hmm. Okay, Dragon Warrior. Mm -hmm. Techno Man didn't come on until later. Okay. So yeah. you had to go to a video store. Mm -hmm. Those, back in the day, you could rent videotapes. Mm -hmm. That was how I got into this. And... <laughs> About in the 2000s, I heard about DC Anime Club, so I took my love of animation here to DC Anime Club. Nice. What were some of the anime series that really kind of, not just stood out for you, but, but really just like stuck with you over the years? Oh, well, when I started taking animation more seriously back in the 90s, um, I was a huge fan, actually, of Techno Man. I actually thought that was actually one of the, that was one of the few anime series we had on American yeah. television back yeah. then. But, it, but unlike a lot of the other anime that came out at the time, it was actually extremely well dubbed. They took a lot of liberties with it, but they cleaned up the dialogue. Nice. They made the entire package work. Mm -hmm. So back in the mid-90s, we started getting a lot more Japanese animation. That was a show that stood out for me. It didn't last very long. It only lasted a year. It was on a UPN, if you remember oh, UPN. Yeah. It was only on for one year, but it was actually on my list of the best animated series on TV that year when I published it. Mm -hmm because it was a show that stood out for me because it actually tried more than most animated shows in this country. And that was just another example of how anime done well, even when it's translated to North America, can really tell a really awesome story on Saturday morning. Yeah, there we go. Um, any recent shows that really stuck out for you? Uh, unfortunately, because I'm a cord cutter, all the animation oh. that I watch is either on DVD mm -hmm. rentals yeah. or on the, uh, the official YouTube sites like mm -hmm. Nozomi. They provide uh, anime on YouTube mm -hmm. legally for free. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to actually catch up with stuff like Kimba from way back in the oh, day. Oh, wow. That's, nice. that's, that's, and, but yeah. of course, yeah, I'm also able to get my hands on some DVDs because some mm -hmm. libraries are very good about having them. So mm -hmm. I'm able to see stuff like Clannad. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Melancholia of Haruhi and mm -hmm. Suzumi, mm -hmm. uh, shows like that. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not up to date, sure. but because I'm an animation fan, I keep up with as much as I can, even if it's old. Yeah, sure. I'll, I've still seen the original Tekka Man Blade series. Nice, nice. <laughs> Are there other shows that have stuck out for you from a pure animation perspective? Well, shows or movies? Let's start with shows. Okay, so we're talking about shows. I was a huge, huge fan of Cowboy Bebop. Mm. Uh, easily one of the best-looking animated series mm -hmm. that aired that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, 
Wow, you can probably go back to, well, I'm sticking, to, not, sticking just to the shows that were made in Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely Cowboy B, Boss Shamurai Shampoo was great. Um, there were some incredible looking episodes of shows like, um, uh, not Gundam, it was Gundam 0083. Oh, yeah. yeah. That came out on Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. so there were some shows I saw on Cartoon Network that looked incredible. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, Wow. See, I'm, I'm getting all my Gundams yeah, mixed up because sure. this, this is Stardust it. Memory. Okay, yes. But So it, stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. But that was mainly the stuff that aired on Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. On American television, I didn't get a chance to see a whole lot of shows that looked great. Yeah. They might have been good shows, yeah. but those were the shows that really stood out was the stuff that really came on Cartoon Network mainly. Yeah, that's cool. Um, are there shows that you, or, or movies that you got into through the club? Oh yeah, almost yeah. everything that I couldn't watch yeah. on DVD at a library that I couldn't mm. watch on broadcast television, the Anime Club hooked me up because they screen these on a regular basis. Mm. And of course, uh, a lot of series that I started watching, I started watching through the anime. Mm. So uh, that's one. That's the main reason I've been a member for so long because it's my opportunity to see a lot of stuff I, I just never would have heard of. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, that's very interesting. Um, um, so how have you seen the club change over the years you've been involved? Uh, well, the good news is we've always been here mm. pretty much for the last yeah. uh, eight or nine years since I've been a member, so it's always been easy to find. Mm. Uh, we've gone from, we've actually been in several rooms, we've been in these masses, audit, not auditoriums, but mm. we've had screen movies in those massive rooms, we've always been in, in smaller, more intimate rooms like this. Mm. Um, we, we've, believe it or not, I think, um, wow. I'm going back to my first meeting, and I remember <laughs> I remembering being able to like bring my big old CRT television, my 20-inch TV. I'll kind of lug it in here with all my PlayStation One video games, <laughs> and, it, and of course these days people bring laptops. Mm -hmm. They bring small little flat screens, with little PS4s inside suitcases mm -hmm. to these video game meetings. I mean that's of course a major change. We have a projector now. Back in the day we were rolling. Um, Rolling those little carts with the TV on yeah. them with the VCR, and you put and you put Windaria in the VCR. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but now we're of course we have DVDs. We plug it into a projector. Got a massive screen. Love watching the love watching the anime on the big screen. Yeah. And of course we've always been able to watch it dubbed or sub. So that opportunity is something we can't get at home. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, are there other sort of features of the club that you particularly enjoy or find kind of cool? Uh, well, I already mentioned the video game day. Um, every single time we have one of those, I try to bring my stash because I'm an old school video game where I got 16-bit cartridges, I got uh, new modern systems, I try to bring those in so people can play them, sharing the experience. Um, I've always tried to go to, I've always tried to go to all these regular movie screenings because as I said, great opportunity for me to get myself exposed. Uh, we're actually, we're actually trying to do more cosplay events too that I know we've always done, but because of my schedule, I haven't always had the time to participate in that. That's the kind of thing I've always loved to be able to do. Yeah. We were there at the Smithsonian, at the Freer Gallery, we were doing the history of cosplay. Nice. Uh, we had training sessions uh, with uh, officers teaching people how to draw animation. So people like me who have no artistic <laughs> ability when it comes to that sort of thing, learning how to draw Miyazaki figures. Wow. That's the kind of stuff I always love being able to do here. Because yeah. I, no one's doing it in my area. Because yeah. I'm actually from Montgomery County. I'm up the mm -hmm. street. Mm -hmm. This is here happening here in D.C. on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And it's a great opportunity. Yeah. That is awesome. Thanks so much for doing this. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. Thanks. Take care.